Welcome back everybody, and if you're new here, I do this thing every video where I say, I throw some questions out there, and if you can get it right, you get a shout out in my next video. Shout outs to Nikolifa, I know his URL is different, but um, I looked at the channel because I wasn't going to pronounce that URL. But it is Scrafty, and um, recently bought one up. I got an amazing shiny that I got when I was into playing PvP, I was, I actually, only reason I didn't share for it was because um, it was shiny, funny enough. Um, it's a 0, th uh, 13, 15, so it's a zero, I mean, not, 1, 13, 15. Very good IVs, and, um, I'm not running for the new Thunder Punch, I, I might make a video on that, but I like the idea of, like, Power Up Punch, and obviously I'm not gonna use, uh, Acid Spray over Foul Play or Thunder Punch over Foul Play. Um, so yeah, and I paired it up with Quagsire and, and a Toxpex, that's a very good core. And hop into the battles. That is literally the worst lead you could ever get. A grand bull. Gonna instant swap. That's why I brought Toxpex to deal with those fairies, because you are double weak and you get walled. And then uh, Quagsire just it to handle. It's just a good core with Toxpex. It's actually an amazing core with Toxpex. And then Scrafty, it, it's 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 very good. So they're gonna swap out into an Alolan Executor. They no shield the Stone Age, and that does big damage. I want to make a video on this, so just um, stay tuned. I might. Um, for the Pokemon of the day, it is an Electric Steel type. It is considered in Shadow form one of the most attack weighted Pokemon. It won a regional with a, I, th I believe she's ne she's from Germany or Netherlands, or she's from the Netherlands, but she won an entire tournament with that Pokemon, and whoever can get it right next gets a shout out in my next video. So here the, um, the switch clock wasn't up, so I had to throw the power up punch, and um, it might grab a shield, nah, it's still the decent damage, I mean it's a shadow ground ball. Gonna come in with my topics, this poison jabs is doing shredding. And they come in with a Camarot. Okay. So Mega Camarot is going to be a very cool Pokemon. It's going to be a good fight and ground type raid attacker. It's going to be like Mega Gra um, Primal Groudon. Sorry. Primal Groudon. But it is double weak to water. So like, yeah, they kind of have to shield Brines, which is like one of the worst moves in the game. And I still have to shield the Earth Power because Earth Power would, I would say one shot. It's a stab Earth Power from a Camarot. I actually don't know this thing's attack, so I'll check. And Ember is not a good fast move, so you can easily just uh, you know farm them down. Well, not farm them down, but um, I can go for the brine. They cannot farm me down or get to another move because their thing is so bad. And they're still in here for some reason. They get to the move, but yeah, not even a crunch would knock out. Well, uh, okay, they go for the close combat, but that's resisted and now. I can farm them down before we even get another charm off, so yippee. Good game. Uh, horribly still won. Quagsire against Scrafty and Quagsire. This is not bad. Um we and it's water gun. Why, people I'm not in this I'm not in the pits anymore and I'm still getting Pokemon like this. But here's why I like here's a reason where Power Punch is just better, because then you can ramp up your attack and then counters just do so much damage. Oh. The last, uh, the last battle is, it's actually really crazy on how they just did not ex did, just didn't know that Scrafty existed. I did get a bit of lag and I lagged out a few counters, but I think I got them back. They are running Mud Bomb, which I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess they wanted the water type damage, but didn't want to get Aqua Tail, so whatever. Now Power Punches are starting to add up, and now these counters, I could farm them down if I wanted to. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to farm them down and just completely, yeah, farm them down. Mud Bomb, that's an easy shield. And then I can just farm them down. Come out with a Power Punch, just in case I need it. And they're coming in with a Lucario with Force Palm. A shiny Lucario. A fellow shiny Lucario enthusiast. Like my shiny Mega Lucario on the side there, on the right. They do shield, which is obviously, but dude, did you see that counter? That counter did 20% of their health. And now they threw a lot of force pumps. And now they're swapping out into a Steelix. And this is a Thunder Fan Steelix. Now this just makes it 10 times better because their energy generation is horrible. 
their damage is resisted. Trust me, I've used Thunderfang Mighty. Mm, I've used yeah, I've used Thunderfang or Ice Fang. One of the fangs, they're all the same. Mighty Anna. Well, that was a cool Pokemon. I might make I might make another video on that. It's a good Pokemon, not gonna lie. Like it learns uh, all the elemental fangs. I think it learns Snarl. I might run Snarl this time. Mm, you might. Steelix matchup, this is just so one-sided at this point. Like, they, no matter how many Psychic Fangs and Crunches and Breaking Swords they go for, is ever going to do a lot of damage. So now I can just swap out and farm them down. I might as well, you know, take some damage, but I wall them unless they get up to an Earthquake, but that's impossible. They don't even get to another move. Um, or not wall them, but pretty much just don't do enough damage. They need to get to, like, um, back-to-back. Back-to-back, like, I don't know. Mm, two Shadow Balls don't knock out. So we can get to the Brian and that knocks out the Shiny Lucario, which is a beautiful Shiny, by the way. I love Shiny Lucario. I'm so blessed that I got one. We see a familiar lead. Grand Ball, non-Shadow, but still horrible. Aborting into Quagsire, or safe-swapping into Quagsire. They're coming in with a Shadow, a non -sh Why do I keep doing this? A non-Shadow Hitmonchan. Um... Now, unless they're running, like, close combat mm, and or power punch, we kind of wall them here because they could have ice punch or thunder punch. You know, ice punch, thunder punch combined would make it very good. Mm, yeah. I've got a very good shadow that I'm going to build. Um, quite, Aquatel nearly does about 40%, which is quite a lot. Still got an earth shield. It ends up being a thunder punch. That still doesn't knock me out. I should be able to make it to another Aquatel. I can either grab the final shield or win the 0 to 1 shield scenario, which is kind of crazy for a Pokemon to win. And they do no shield, so ka me. They're coming back in on that Gramble to get a charm, but that's fine. I can align my Toxpex here, and Toxpex is just going to run through this thing. Nothing they can throw is going to do anything. And now they're coming in with an Altaria. Now this thing is not good, so I have to go for the Sludge Wave here to either grab a shield, or just put them into a range wave for a couple of far place to knock out. So Sludge Wave gets no shield, that does about 50%. Now I can come into the Scrafty and just go far place here. I'm going to shield the Sky Attack. It's a stab Sky Attack, and we're not the bulkiest thing around, so I'm just going to shield it just in case. Sky Attack, obviously. They could have gone for Moonblast, which probably would have been a one-shot, but whatever. I can just fire off the far play. Far play should? Nah... Foul play will put in maybe poison jab range. Uh, I might keep a shield for um, tox packs. Foul play actually knocks out, so they're gonna. Okay, I should have just let them fall me down there uh, because now they're gonna get some farm. But I should be able to make it a power punch. No, we die with the move, but there's nothing they can do. We got a tox packs on this thing. I there's nothing. I mean, they need three, three crunches. Like, dude, you're running charm. You're not gonna get three crunches. There's no way, and they know that, so they're just going to concede the match. GG's, but there was nothing they could do. Next one, Gudra, a, a neutral lead, okay? Now, I like being the Gudra here. I've played it for some reason, but I, I do like being the Gudra. If it has Thunder Punch, if it has Power Up Punch, I like to be the Scrafty, because you can do damage, eh? Counters add up, counters add up normally, but power, they're shielded, but Power Up, Yo, look at those counters. They're already nearly at 50%. But Dragon Breaths are starting to add up, so I'm going to shield. I can't... I hate... Yeah. I don't hate it, but it gets annoying. Aquatel still does... Well, it does nothing. It still does one, though. I'm going to build up a lot of energy, but we lose CMP. Ah. It makes sense. It's a pseudo-legendary, but I mean... I should have won. I can still survive another Aquatel. I should have gone for the Fire Player, but... Whatever, whatever. Um, maybe I can count it down two counters. <laughs> they do end up no shielding, and I should be able to. Oh, we got a Sinal KO, which is yeah, it's it's bad. But they don't wait out the clock. They send their Quagsire. I can I get alignment here. Thanks, buddy. I get switch. Thanks. They're also on mud shot, and we should be the same pacing. But they go for the extra there. That's perfectly fine. I mean, 
I probably would win CMP. I've got a counter attack created, but I might not. They shield the Aquatair, which is interesting. Now they're building up a lot of energy. I'm thinking maybe they have Earthquake, but I'm still going to no shield. They could also have, like, mm, what else is this? Yeah, Earthquake, maybe. They have Mud Bomb. Okay, so they've just about got back-to-back mm, -back Mud Bombs. So Mud Bomb gives it an edge against Toxpex, but it doesn't really give it an edge against other Quagsires because, like, Sure, it's neutral and stab, but like, uh, Aquatel's like quicker. They go for the next mud bomb right as they get it, which is fine. I'm gonna go shield that bad boy up, and now I'm hoping that there's like a grass in the back, because what I've seen is a Gudra, and there's that. Well, actually, mm, yeah, I'm hoping there's like something like a grass, a fairy, something that I can just demolish. Um, they do get to another mud bomb. This still won't knock out, which is kind of interesting to me. This still won't knock out. So, yeah. But they went for the stone. It just still doesn't even knock me out. What a play. Now, I can't go for the farm down here. I think I could have, maybe. I think I could have. But whatever. I don't care. Alcatel knocks them out in there. I'm going to instant swap. Oh, no. It's a clod, though. This game's over. Unless I can get to th four bronze before they get... Unless they just completely lag out, there's no way I can win this, because two Earthquakes knock me out. They're full send the Earthquake on the first try, and that's does big damage. And now all they have to go for is a Stone Edge, and they're going to win. Yeah. Good game, but that is about the worst thing you can see in the back, because Poison Jabs, Double Resisted, Brine, Neutral, but, I mean, super effective, but crap. Sludge Wave, double resisted. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. Sadly, um, this is just an instant loss. Um, but yeah. Sorry, just, I just thought it was something. Uh, I tried to get to Akutel, but I couldn't, so that sucks, but whatever. Now, this is what I'm talking about, Greninja. This is just an amazing lead in general, but they instant swap into a Clod's Eye. That's fine. I, I'm going to build up some energy and then swap out. Uh, just because I wanted to have some energy for that, um, for that Greninja, because I can flip switch just by being bloody, bloody hard hitting. They bait me with the Acid Spray. I was prepared to just no shield that anyway, so, like, now that I know they have Acid Spray, I'm like, dude, dude, you, you're not doing anything against me. Um, but yeah, Stone Edge. Okay, so Acid Spray, Stone Edge. Both resisted. This is fun. I can fire off the arc woo voice crack. I can fire off the aqua tail. About another one will knock out, so uh no not quite, but I'm gonna fire it off anyway and then farm them down and then come out with a load of energy. I still will probably have to expend a shield, which is kinda sad, but whatever. Yeah, I'll probably be able to uh, have to expend a shield. There are no shield, which is interesting. They are gonna get a shield advantage out of this, which I'm perfectly fine by. But I'm thinking they're probably gonna bait me. And it is the Acid Spray. Hark, Jamaica. They don't even get to another move, so now I have a lot of energy. And they're coming back in with that Greninja. I'm going to fire off one Mud Shot. Then the Stone Edge. Stone Edge does about 65% to a Greninja. They do end up shielding, which is fine. I'll be able to make it to another Aquatel. Throwing on good, bad timing, but game lag, so what are you going to do? Um... This is fine. I don't mind it here. Aquatel, okay, they would no shield. But this still does a crap ton of damage, I mean. Uh, oh, we lose CMP. I'm going to shield here, because Hydro Cannon would do so much damage, and this thing could hurt an area today, so I'm just going to shield it. It is the Hydro, which still would have done massive amounts of damage. Toxpex is also good here. This whole team, our worst Pokemon into it is probably Quagsire, just because of like the neutral factor. But everything else is like, every other Pokemon is good. And in the back, they've got Jirachi, but Confusion is neutral because of our sub-dark typing, and this is why I love Scrafty. Because with, um, with Annihilate, you're still taking super effective. We one-shot them with a flipped on the flower play, and now I can just shield and farm the Greninja down. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love Scrafty and how it just, it doesn't take super effective on the Pokemon that it should. Like, confusion. Nope. Oh, that's beautiful. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Comment down below. Toast if you made it this far. 
And I'll give you a little heart and a comment saying thank you. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.